and to YouTube, it's the boy Chris. Yeah, Kobe. And we are BWC Entertainment back with another YouTube video. Today for you guys, we got the top top 10 most unexpected WWE moments that happened on live TV. Yes. Live television. It's a man be wild. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you he's pissed off too. You're fired. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, be fired. Where is that going? He's going down south. One minute. But they look at the WWE produces hours upon hours of live content every single week. From time to time, an unexpected moment is going to occur. That these moments have ranged from fires breaking out. And now this got on fire. Um, oh yeah, burned him. They came out like ah. Taking place within the crowd itself. Oh, the wrong which person. times were they? One in the hand. Wrestlemania looks at ten of the most unexpected WWE moments on live television. The crazy thing is, when Undertaker got burnt, he was like all the way burnt. He was supposed to go to the hospital, but he wrestled. Be sure to subscribe and hit that burnt. notification bell for daily wrestling videos. <laughs> so he was hurt, burnt, and still won. Hurt, burnt, and still won. Let me tell you a personal story about Vince McMahon, all right? Here we do this whole bully camp. Yeah, but they did him dirty right there. Because they didn't know what he was going to say. The rule set catches fire. But one of the key features of WWE... Damn, he was going to talk shit. Pyrotechnics. Yeah. Before an episode of Raw in 2012, uh, the pyro rehearsal he, uh, went drastically wrong. He wrote a script, the a fake script to Vince McMahon of what he was going to say. Evacuation was ordered and Vince McMahon was like, building. okay. So he was expecting CM Punk to go out there and say something, but CM Punk just forgot, uh, he didn't forget the whole script, he just changed everything to say what he wanted to say. So the fans have only had about 30 minutes now to actually file into the arena here. What did Luckily, that no one was injured, oh, and uh, well, we fans look like uh, we're about ready to go. I'll be bad as a motherfucker. Christian goes off. Man, y'all gonna give me my money back? Like nah, they let him back in the... Never, don't you read the internet? It's all knowledge that Christian was a WWE chairman. Man, bro, this man been old. <laughs> He's been old for 20 years now. Personal appearance. He's like and a meat game character. That is what held Christian back from reaching the very top of the WWE ladder. Now, it's worth noting that although Christian held the world title in WWE on two different occasions, these reigns were both rather brief. Yeah, he was always garbage. I like Christian. And he left for a while. But anyway, it's common for Vince to be WWE announcers certain lines to say during matches, and sometimes like these Christian are the direct thoughts the of Vince name. rather than the actual announcer themselves. This was the case on the March 17, 2017 edition of Raw. During a match between Sheamus and Titus O'Neil, Christian would be on commentary, and this was when JBL began to call Christian ugly and stated that Christian needed a blue dot over his face. This was clearly Vince telling JBL what to say, but Christian wasn't going to stand for it. In fact, he rebutted JBL's jabs by stating, I've listened to this kind of stuff my entire career. If I listened to every bad word that was said about me, I wouldn't be here for very long. I wouldn't be here for as long as I have been. I've got guys like Michael Cole downing me. I've got JBL calling me skinny, calling me ugly. Meanwhile, you look like David Spade in a fat suit. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that if you want to tell me some truth out here, what you would say is I'm resilient. What you would say is I'm one of the biggest overachievers in the history of WWE. That's what you would say. Maybe I'll take you guys' jobs. I'll actually give a little bit of credibility to this show. Mm. What's wrong with David Spade? Yeah. Nothing. I said you look like I'm in a fat suit. They didn't even about the match no more. <laughs> this was completely planned and nobody could have expected Christian to lash out in the manner that he did. Number 8, Riddle forgets his promo. Man. When no, WWE what? records a backstage segment, it's usually pre-recorded. This I is so that this. WWE can create That's the best right. segment possible and they can do a number of takes to achieve this. However, when Riddle forgot his promo backstage during a segment with Asuka, WWE no, decided to leave nice. the box in. Is, is in the segment, old, Riddle would ask Asuka if she liked his scooter. He would then ask if she thought they would be popular in Japan. This is when Riddle apologized for forgetting his lines and he walked completely... I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> he just walked this off. This took a Is lot of fans by surprise uh, as WWE yeah. never usually does something of this nature. Okay. That it was a surprise crispy. to many that Vince left a botch in that was absolutely you hilarious. Okay. It perfectly complimented he dies, his eh? carefree attitude. Yeah. And what? Nah. I'm really I don't think. Number seven, the Miz really wore a hijacked Survivor Series. No, no. Oh, yeah, about to the WWE in early 2018 left fans speculating what the former Cruiserweight Champion would do next. 
For the next few months, Enzo would try to attain as much publicity as possible by staying in the public eye in any way he could. Tried to rap. One way he managed to achieve this was by attending the Survivor Series pay-per-view as a fan. Enzo would sit in the crowd with a <laughs> terrible disguise and it was rather obvious who he was, but fans didn't seem to care. During one of the featured matches, Enzo jumped right out of his chair and revealed himself to the entire audience. Imagine sitting right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the security team immediately ejected Enzo from the pay-per-view, but they didn't manage to avoid airing Enzo's publicity stunt on the live broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> <Number six, laughs> Josh Matthews. <laughs> hey, we got a problem on TV. Yeah. Did he get fired after that? He was already he was fired. fired. Yeah, he was already fired. But he wanted to get back on TV, and he just tried to hijack the show. Mm -hmm. So, how long ago was that? I don't, was, I don't remember him. That was in 2017, 2018? So he wasn't there for long, was he? No, not too long. Okay. Memorable moments. Triple H was drafted to Raw, CM Punk was drafted to SmackDown, and Josh Matthews suffered a nosebleed live on air. This took place at the start of the show. Matthews, who was an ECW announcer at the time, was introducing himself and Matt Stryker. What a blur. And suddenly Matthews is no oh. 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 <laughs> Came out of nowhere, son. Oh. It, WWE had to quickly move on from his uh, introduction. It, it just came out of the crazy. found the incident rather comical and it was reportedly met with widespread <laughs> laughter back This man always laughed at himself. This is definitely a strange guy. Number 5, man, WrestleMania man, 37 what? suffers a rainy delay. Vince WrestleMania 37 is WWE's first <laughs> place in front of fans in over a year. Unfortunately, the pay-per-view didn't begin the way WWE or fans would have liked. Due to severe rain in Florida, the pay-per-view couldn't begin when originally planned. I thought they in fact, the rain was so severe that weather warnings were issued and it looked like WWE were going to be forced to postpone their biggest show of the calendar year. Instead of simply going off the air until WWE received the all clear, they decided Is to that improvise. This yeah. They would have superstars cut completely and scripted well. promos backstage. But this is a move yeah, which received great reviews from fans, and it was extremely rare to see unscripted promos of any nature, particularly at WrestleMania. We get to do it! Number four, a fight breaks out during Roman Reigns vs Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania 35. And one of the top oh, matches on the WrestleMania 35 card was the match between Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns. Although the two are the most talented superstars in WWE, there was little fan interest in it. Space change. Roman Reigns with a drive by, this time connecting. The only time that fans reacted in any way was when a real life fight broke out in the audience. The fight was said to be between a number of fans and WWE security were forced to remove the troublemakers from the stadium. The fight caused such a commotion that Reigns actually took time to look over at the incident unfolding to see what was happening. And whilst this was happening, the announced team continued to call the action and the fight was never alluded to. Number 3, WrestleMania 33 states sets a light. A WrestleMania 33 was supposed to act as The Undertaker's final ever WWE matchup. He was set to retire in a main event match with Roman Reigns, and to mark this retirement, he would undergo a special send-off following the match. The Undertaker would place his hat and gloves in the middle of the ring, and this was followed by Pyro going off on the top of the stage. But the Pyro actually resulted in a fire breaking out, and WWE had to swap the camera angles. Hopefully so that it wasn't obvious that the stage had just engulfed into flames. Oh, so the flames would be real. quickly distinguished, and thankfully nobody was hurt due to the quick response of the stagehands. Number two, a fan attacks Bret Hart during the Hall of Fame. Now, the Hall of Fame is usually a place where fans and superstars can come together to celebrate the legendary superstars of the past. However, in 2019, one individual decided to ruin the ceremony by attempting to attack Bret Hart. Bret was in the ring alongside Natalia as the Hart Foundation were getting inducted into the Hall of Fame, but this is when a supposed fan rushed into the ring and tackled Bret to the you? ground. The live feed of the induction <laughs> ceremony cut off momentarily as WWE had never experienced something like this taking place before. A number of well, times, including Drew McIntyre, <laughs> <and Bobby, laughs> they, they told him up when he got sure the this. fan didn't cause any more damage to Brett. The fan was soon escorted out of the ring and was later arrested. Oh, dude, <laughs> <laughs> Jerry has a heart attack he actually broke his before. nose when he did. During the live broadcast of the September 10th, 2012, had a heart oh. attack whilst calling the action. I remember that. Yeah, I, 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 I remember yeah, watching yeah. that yeah. show. Ah. I thought and he was yeah. literally snoring into his microphone. 
You can hear it. They sent the entire program oh, into a state of disarray as there was serious concern that Lawler had just passed away. Lawler received CPR by the ringside doctor and he was eventually moved to the backstage area where EMTs worked to revive the wrestling legend. It's as if I'm looking at Kane and I blink my eyes when I open them again and I'm in a hospital bed, I have a ventilator down my throat and it's like two days later. Amazingly, Lola managed to make a full recovery and was back to calling Raw just two months after the incident. Now, a lot of praise should be offered towards the medical team who saved Lola's life, but also to WWE and Michael Cole. Now, Cole had just seen his close personal friend have a heart attack right in front of him, and he still managed to call the action, as well as keep the audience at home informed in relation to the nature of Lola's condition. Cole is actually a consumer professional. Yeah, that was some crazy Again, shit. Uh, this is yeah. not, it is not part of tonight's entertainment. But there you have it, folks. I remember Kane watching that shit live. It was, it was Kane life. and Daniel Bryan versus the, the Titus O'Neil. Primetime. Uh, yeah, yeah, the primetime players. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's whatever yeah, him yeah, and Kane yeah, were a thing. Yeah, yeah, yep. That was crazy. Hey, man, what? Uh, what? Man. I don't know what's going on. Hey. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a scary sight, huh? All right, that's the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>